Hello everybody, welcome to Percussion Axiom TV. I'm your host Tom Burrett and this is episode 21 and it is also the day before Thanksgiving in 2008. And if you're watching this before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. If you're watching it afterward, I hope you had a great one. So this is episode 21 and we're going to continue today on our series of episodes on rolling. Um, and, and today's axiom is wrapped around two ideas. The first is cruise control in a car and Miss Pac-Man. So what the heck does that mean? Well, when I'm teaching, I really love to teach um, using analogies. And so um, building on sort of what we talked about last episode, one big problem I hear in young performers and young players when they roll on the keyboard instruments is uh, this, the issue of overstimulation. Just rolling too much where the bar is just overstimulated and it's not, it's jumping around like crazy and it's not happy basically. So I like to think of rolling on a, on a bar just like you would think about cruise control. So if a, cruise control is go, or if a car is going down the highway in cruise control, it takes a lot to get it going to 60 or 70 miles an hour, wherever you want to stay. But to keep it at 70, for example, it takes a lot less energy than actually getting it to 70. So that's my analogy, and that's something that I go by when I'm, when I'm teaching and also when I'm playing. So when I strike a bar, it's already moving for quite a while. And so there's all the energy it needs to get to 70, if you will. Then I just need to maintain 70. And that requires a lot less energy in general. So you can hear from this example that I'm not really working very hard to keep that bar going. But when I re-stimulate a note, I have to work very, you know, I have to get it going 70 and then I can just maintain 70. It's that simple. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of you do this. It's just a different way of thinking about it. But uh, I think for maybe some of you younger listeners, that's something you could consider. Now, obviously, in the upper manual, the bar is quite thicker. Um, then we need to stimulate a little bit more, but the same concept applies. Okay? All right, so there's the cruise control part. Now, Miss Pac-Man. I don't know if you guys remember Miss Pac-Man. It was one of my favorite games and still is. Um, in between, I think it's the second and the third board when they move to the next harder level, there's this thing called the chase where Pac-Man goes across, and then Miss Pac-Man follows, and then they come back across the screen, and the music's really funny. So if you haven't checked, ever seen that, go check it out. Anyway, it's, you know, so what does that have to do with rolling? Well, when I'm rolling, especially when I'm shifting notes, I utilize that same sort of idea. So I'm gonna shift, as I shift from, say, this G to this B flat, I'm gonna go with my right hand first, and then my left hand's going to chase Right. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. So that's that's what Miss Pacman has to do here. Okay. So you know if I'm going to move and I set the camera up this way so you can see it. So if I'm going to moving, I'm going to chase my left. Go to, if I'm going to the left, I'm going to move my left stick and chase with my right. Hopefully you can see that on the camera there. And it's the same when I'm rolling four mallet chords. I'll move my left hand first. I'll even slow my roll speed down a little bit. Facilitate that change where I want to move my left. So slow motion. Follow with my left. That's called the chase. So that's something that I find real helpful. If I'm moving to the, you know, up, upward on the instrument, then my right hand goes, and the same way on my left, my left hand will lead on the way down. Um, that's something that I think really helps me when I'm rolling. So that's what Miss Pacman has to do. So that's today's axiom. Think, love to think of analogies. Um, so <clears throat> I'm hoping that you're enjoying the series on rolling. Thanks to all of you who have left comments. Uh, some really good, really excellent comments actually about rolling and how you guys do it. I'm really interested to hear more. If you haven't left a comment yet, if you lurkers out there, please do so. I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. This is a great opportunity for us to kind of share ideas and get things moving and going. And, and I really, really appreciate those. It really helps me keep motivated. Um, let's see. I think that's all. It's a shorter show today, but that's fine. I'm ready for the holiday for sure. And so the question of the episode is simple. Um, this time of year, hopefully, it's quite appropriate. But I want to know what you're thankful for. I know it sounds cheesy, but you know, in the grand scheme of life, um, it's amazing that we get to do music and we get to play percussion and marimba and all that business. But really, when it boils down to it, um, you know, it's about family and friends and people in our lives. So we'd love to know what you're thankful for this Thanksgiving. And uh, looking forward to more, show, more shows next week when we get back to finish off the uh, episodes on rolling. And um, 
Thanks again, you guys, for watching, and have an incredible, absolutely fantastic Thanksgiving. Take care.